Um, what's up, guys? Mm. Mm. Alright, I'm Avenged One. Welcome back to Game of Thrones. This Forgot where we were, but let's see. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. By the way, mm, potato chips are good. Mm. By the way, I finally found the subtitles. My homeboy at work told me put the subtitles on. I was like, can't find them. I'm an idiot. I found them. I got them. Here we go. Let's play Game of Thrones, actually, and understand what the hell's going on. So let's look at this brazier, brazier, brazier. I don't know. Yep, it's there. All right, that door looks weird as hell. I don't really. Okay. Why? Hmm. Why is it? Oh, I fixed it. Oh, when I walk away, it breaks again. Okay, that's whatever. Let's look inside this box. So I think I'm playing as Marjorie right now. If I recall, what happened last time was my dude went to the wall. Well, of course. Let's look at this. Ethan made this. And oh, okay. And then Ethan, last time was telling this one dude he was like hey you get off you go home stop talking to us go fuck yourself and you know it was stuff like that so here we go let's look at this medal it was very kind of lady marjorie to give this to me yes it was it belonged to lady elena hmm okay i'm gonna eat another potato chip for good measure mm. all right they're really stale but who cares a coin let's look at this coin Asha sent me this coin to remember him hmm no. What a strange place, Essos. Okay, an unfinished letter. Let's read it. Or just look at it. Why would there even be a fucking option to fucking look at it? That's the dumbest thing ever. Let's read it. Hmm. Father. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Okay. Lady Marjorie yep. has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do mm -hmm. wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. I, I didn't pay attention. Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, maybe I will rewatch my video and figure out who the hell wrote that letter, because I am confused. <gasps> and I got the hiccups, so that's not good. Look at those grapes, looking luxurious. Luck, luxurious. <laughs> looking... L Never mind. Screw it. Let's read this. By <laughs> by hmm. A gift from Roderick. Okay. I hope no one pushes I me out the window. Ah, oh, man. Mm. Potato chips, though. Oh God. Oh God. I can't do it. Ah. Okay. I made it through. All right. Let's look over here. Someone's gonna push me out the window. I knew it. He's landing. I wonder if it's sunny at today. I doubt it. Man, this girl is kind of a downer. A real Debbie downer. Look at her hair. Stupid. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I take it back. But look at her stupid front and with her stupid little face. She kind of looks like a guy. If she put on, like, pants and a something, I guess the term would be shirt. <laughs> Alright, let's read this letter from Mom and Ma. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must but you appeal must to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And Wait, this isn't Marjorie? Ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I don't know who the hell I am. Oh god, I thought that was on my door. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We're walking casually, nothing to click over here, going over here, back to the broken door of doom. I One get moment. it, stop knocking. Oh, sorry <gasps> lady, I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Please do. Alright, come on in, yeah, he's gonna try to rape me, coming. it's okay. Come on in, give me your best. Hmm, I don't know what that does. Does it keep the place warm? Begging your pardon, lady, but you're right. Yes. 
If Leave me the hell me, alone. You seem rather upset. This would be my answer in real life. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. Avoided the Please hell out of his question. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. I thought I was Marjorie. <laughs> Who the hell am I? I'm Milady. Lady Marjorie? No, my name is Milady. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh, I'm her handmaiden. I made her hand. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. You seem like you know too much. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the royal steps. He knows way too much. Cersei. Cersei. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear hmm. much, but... It was Why, are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? I heard them me arguing this. about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Oh, <gasps> that's my house. I think. I still don't know who the hell I am. I'm a lady. I'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. Thank you, servant. Not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. <laughs> you see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. I feel like Cole Boy is such a waste. Why would he only do coals? You think he'd like do a lot more than just coals, like pick up poop, coals, you know, and get a promotion to dust off plants or something? Lady oh, you're I'm an ready. idiot. I know That's who Marjorie is. I just talk. forgot. Come, there's something we must discuss. Ew. All right, let's go. Man, you know, I'm all cut up on the show too and everything, and I'm just an idiot for not remembering names at this point. Ugh, just don't on look at me like that. In High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Thank you. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You and know what? Your whole family as well. I need your help. I need your help, my lady. Of course, and I will help you in any way I can. But there's uh -oh. another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. I love Rob Stark. questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me. <gasps> uh oh, that guy on the right's blurry. I don't know how I feel about that much. She mentioned the oh, I guess it didn't matter. My service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh hell no! She was I'm not a traitor. With herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not I am no a traitor. traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. Yeah. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised... That is a bit fishy. I wouldn't ask I this if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei. I have nothing to so apologize for. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to appease her. I'll suck her dick. Her. What? Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Queen Regent, my ass. Well, I mean, I guess technically. Okay, anyways. Let's go in. <gasps> Wait. Wait a minute. Something's about to fine. happen. I know you will. You They're may gonna feel kill me. Thing, but you must say another. I'm gonna feel a sword in my heart. Good luck. Oh no. It's over. Especially I'm in charge of her. It's over. Oh, she's gonna die so hard. I make the wrong decision. Oh my I always make the wrong decision. I always make the wrong decision. <sighs> There's the throne. Oh my god! It's Tyrion. You know, when I played Diablo, I would always say Tyrion when I would say see Tyrion and say Tyrion when I saw Tyrion. So confused sometimes. Wait, I walk? Oh. 
I'm approaching the throne because I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. Okay, everyone's looking at me. <gasps> yes. Ah, oh, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? I am. Lord Tyrion. Oh, I'm not Marjorie. Damn it. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forest. Take it. I will, I will stand tall. Your grace. I should hope so. Speak falsely and it'll be worse for you. Shut up, bitch. House Forester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Yes, we are. Is your family loyal? Secretly, we aren't. Shh, we're not. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. See? I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house, A house of, of awesome, badass men. They, they are not traitors. Not traitors, Your Grace. Oh, you northern uh, girls tire me. Always quick to make your opinion known. I love the Starks. consideration for your proper place. Lady Mira is northern, your grace. And new to King's Landing and its politics. She speaks her mind but means no offense, your grace. Mm-hmm, gotta speak your mind. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? I don't know what that word means, so... Roos Bolton also served the Starks. Yep. Your grace. There you go. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Then he's a traitor, and we should off with his head. Old That's all I'm saying. Are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are that ships in the and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm his told armor. there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forester. You can rely Foster on this dick. Does oh. seem rather unique. Our talent is Here we go. Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm yeah, told. That, that's, the, that's all I can think of. Your lack of humility. You fuck you. You bitch ass bitch. That's It'll terrible. It's a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you would do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? I, 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 I would. Whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be Jamie didn't even want it. <laughs> Here we go. There are limits. There we go. But not if your house faces potential ruin. Mm -mm. I am an individual. It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Let him know. Let her know. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the rule? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed no. to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should no, she we be cannot. No, but you should be accountable. She here we go. Following her heart, your grace. And the See, very same heart, that's so the best answer. To my son. If there's mm -hmm. a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be I made all the wrong decisions. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. Blood You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty no. to a king, that must be absolute. My interests are hers. Question. So you don't understand how if your things work. were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Kill you. I'm sure your she sleep. Should the girl answer the question. Go on. I must. I am loyal to Marjorie. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Okay, I messed up. Damn it. <laughs> she is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> oh, She's headstrong, isn't she? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. 
I'd like a word with you, if I may. I messed course, up. I done goofed. Oh no, I done goofed. Hi, Tyrion. Oh, the goofed face. Hey, Tyrion. I'll walk you out. Thank you. This may he come knows. as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. See? We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. Thank you. He was an honorable like man. Like, you're an honorable little man. These would be trying times for your family, even under the... Thank you, Lord Tyrion. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei... She will not soon forget what you said. Fuck Cersei. It was Fuck the police. First impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I don't believe I don't like Cersei. <laughs> that was <laughs> fairly apparent to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. Clearly. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine little. in dwarfing them. In dwarfing we them. Must what? find our amusements okay. where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. See? Exactly. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. Boats need I wood. Wood? In this you could help me. Not uh, her. You can help my family. Yep. That's what I... I it's hard to talk while I reading. The crown I'm an idiot. Persuaded to secure ironwood from house Forrester. Oh, Tyrion! My homie! My homie! On such an alliance. And it what? would infuriate Cersei. Although yes, it would. Let's would do it. Amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. I don't care. My life's at risk, anyways. Who cares? Are you Who willing cares? To risk that? Yes, I am. It I knew it. Yes, dangerous. it's a risk I, I need to take, Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I am. I am a brave girl. Now, if a you brave, me, manly I girl, I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Of Dorfish wine. Uh, I hope, I hope we meet again. I love you, Nothing Tyrion. Make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. But if the planet... Not, never mind. Then my thought was just crazy. I'm glad I didn't say it. it made no sense. But I will keep it to myself. I will keep the thought to myself, and I will analyze it later while I'm trying to sleep. It was a nickism. That's what I call them. Mira, nickisms. I was How was it? It couldn't have gone worse. At you, so not... No, it went well. It went well. <laughs> really? That's a relief. Cersei's nope. Known oh. for being rather difficult. Difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, and now I'm not invited. Did way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, Ew. what? It's true. Ew, he has one hand. Over in Martell, oh. I'm told. No. Oh no. My stomach hurts again. After the viper in the mountain duel, I couldn't even sleep at night. We might meet our future husband. Just like, oh my god. Marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. That don't feel good now. Not even paying attention. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Hell no. That little he stupid blonde haired piece of shit bitch. Fuck him and his stupid little forehead. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be no. willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Mm hmm. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would Because you're an ugly, stupid queen little whore. I'm just saying. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, 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 well, fuck you too. Okay. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. So hey. Bron and hey. what are you doing? 
Sir Bran and who? Well, Sarah. We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. Yeah. Just fun. This is fun, 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 it's fun. It's a game of thrones. Can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. <laughs> uh uh. The queen was rather I'm a, I'm aware of that. Your display mirror. Well, fuck the queen. Fuck I the police. Oh, that was a weird cut. Exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. Yeah. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. One thing oh, you can fix it. Lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? I... I... <laughs> People are not it's hard to please. To please. Yep, it really Cersei, is. I work at McDonald's. I am aware of this. You learn very quickly. <laughs> See, <laughs> she knows. Brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I don't fear nothing. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. As difficult Thank you, my lady. as it may have been. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Oh, shit. It gave me a limited amount of time. So, I am going to ask for help. No, I am. Hold on. Give me, give me a couple minutes. I, I, mm. um. I don't know. You know what? Here's my reasoning, and I'm gonna give you guys my reasoning, and I want you to understand this. I am a handmaiden. There's not much I can do. I did get her mad, so that is a bit risky. Tyrion. Is on my side, not Tyrion. Tyrion is on my side. That's what I said. That's why I said it. So if I ask her for help, which is what I'm leaning towards right now, then I can use her help because me is just a handmaid and there isn't much I can do. I don't remember what I'm asking help for. I think it's from a house or some shit like that. But if I ask her for help, then my chances are getting it are getting better. That one's in a proper sentence, but who cares? We're going on with that. If I don't ask for help, then nothing's gonna happen. And, like, why did I say I need to talk to her anyways? It'd be weird to be like, oh, never mind. Then she'd be suspicious. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm going to ask for help, even though the Nick in real life, that's me, would, wouldn't ask for help because I don't like asking for help because I think it's stupid sometimes. I don't know why, even though you should ask for help, but I'm just stubborn. So, I'm going to go against my better judgment, if that's the saying, and ask for help. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Mm, yes. X. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Uh -oh. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. No, you have to put Sarah away. It put her in her cage. My family. I trust her. I'd prefer to speak alone. <laughs> I'd prefer to speak with you alone. Sarah will remember that. See? Now that's how you do it. I knew it. I knew that bitch would remember it. Fuck Sarah. On. Ask. There we go. I received a letter from my family. I, I think that was the right option. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. Uh -huh, as a raven they will. sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. I, you see, that is you no gotta do it. Request, especially now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Joffrey knows you gotta do it for me. Your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? It is that dire. They're a bunch Joffrey of dickholes. Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. Yeah, I don't know. That was the right answer. If Cersei were to find out, 
we would stab her in the forehead. You'll be this only is the again. only way. You have power it's the only way. Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. See? I just made her be like, oh, no oh, ha, ha, ha. Within the week. She didn't make I that noise, but... This if you, if it weren't so urgent. Whatever, fuck it. That's not right. This Game of Thrones episode's well. going on for years. Yes! I anything. Thank you, my lady. Hurt my leg. My <laughs> oh, now Marjorie's worried. I hope I didn't get Marjorie killed, but that wouldn't make sense because she's a big part in the show, I think. Well, it seems like she... Alright, so I did good. Better give me an achievement. I watched that cutscene good. I watched it very well. I like those crickets, those ominous crickets of doom. Alright, well... Whoa. Uh-oh. <gasps> no! Well, fuck. <laughs> Seven hells. Yeah, pretty much. We need to kill some more Boltons. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, this bastard. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Ooh. <gasps> well, I'm excited for this part. Ah, look away. I'm excited for this part, but I'm gonna end it here because this episode's getting pretty long. Even though Ramsey Snow over here is a dickhead, and he's like interrupting me while I'm trying to speak, which makes him even more mean. But I hope you guys like the video. It's getting pretty interesting, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it because I have. It's pretty interesting so far. Shut up, Ramsey! Shut up, Ramsey! I'm speaking. Shut up, Ramsey! I'm speaking. Anyways, thank you. Goodbye. Farewell for now. Farewell for now. <laughs>